Well, good morning. Good morning. We're here in Chivita Vecchia. I think I got my teeth in this morning to say <laughs> that right. Um, Glad you're saying it, not me. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, but yesterday we were in Calvi in Corsica and we woke up and the most amazing sunrise was what greeted us in the morning, yeah, wasn't it? Over the mountains, the sun came up. How lovely was that sitting out there? That was sitting. Sitting out there with a nice cup of tea was gorgeous, wasn't it? Yeah, a cup of tea on mm. in the morning, sat out on the balcony, and the sun came up over the Corsica Mountains, and wow, absolutely really beautiful, good. wasn't it? Um, so Calvi wasn't the planned stop, it was a port change, and it was a tender port, and they'd made this big fuss about the tender process, hadn't they, on board? Yeah. Yeah, and basically, they didn't want the tenders to be swamped and people queuing, so they were quite vociferous with their announcement saying you know excursions got to go first and then you go to the meridian restaurant you get a ticket and you know there are busy times we recommend you don't go in the busy times and we'll tell you when it's quiet is what they said wouldn't it yeah and uh, we were expecting that to be quite late this when it's quiet period but it came really early didn't it it did came quite early didn't it it did come quite early <laughs> we were sat up having our <laughs> breakfast weren't we and they said oh it's quiet now yeah and i think what everybody had done is waited and said until they said it was quiet now and then just descended on the tenders. Yeah. Because the queues were, well, where, they went all the way around the art gallery, around the atrium, <laughs> down the corridors. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it, I don't think their plan worked particularly well to, <laughs> to sort of avoid the congestion. But. but to be fair, we didn't have to wait too long in once we got into the Meridian restaurant. Yeah. We didn't have to wait too long, did we? Yeah, and once you got your ticket in the Meridian yeah. restaurant, it was a 10, 15 minute yeah, wait. Yeah, because they it? could get 90 people on each yeah. and each um, tender, couldn't they? Yeah, and yeah. you know, once you've done the queue into the restaurant, you got your ticket, 15 minutes later, you're going down onto the tender, and then yeah. say 90 of you going ashore, and it's about a 10 minute journey ashore. Yeah, and thank well, goodness it's only 10 minutes because we got, unfortunately, our one was a very smoky one, wasn't it? Yeah, I think the, <laughs> um, the engine on the boat needed servicing because the <laughs> internal cabin where we all were on the on the tender boat was filling with diesel fumes quite, mm. quite badly, actually. and. Um, there were some people around us that were visibly distressed by the well, the fumes well, that were coming in. I was thinking if someone with asthma was on there, they would be having an asthma attack. It wasn't it was good. bad, wasn't uh, it? And there was nowhere. Obviously, mm. you can't do anything about it. You're, you know, you've got to go ashore and mm. you've just got to get there. Um, and you've got to endure it. But it wasn't a particularly pleasant ride, <laughs> was it? No, I think we just had a dud, dud um, ship then because um, the one coming back was okay, wasn't it, the boat? Yeah, ab mm. absolutely. So... Uh, and that was that, but, but what a place Calvi was. It was absolutely stunning, wasn't it? Amazing. Absolutely stunning. I mean, we um, it's kind of three separate areas to explore. And then there was the, the Citadel area, which is where we went first. We started there, yeah. And you climbed up into this little old medieval fortress that's been refortified through the various wars for, that have taken place here. But, I mean, it is... The views. Beautiful, isn't it? From the top absolutely gorgeous really really mm. really really pretty and yeah. um loads of narrow cobbled streets i mean it's yeah. not great if you haven't got good mobility i would suggest one it's a steepish climb and two the, the and cobbled streets are quite rough and uh, underfoot aren't they and under heat you know with the heat and everything it was yeah. like but um it was gorgeous absolutely stunning and we climbed up and explored all around we found that lovely yeah. old church at the top didn't we yeah that was really nice. And, we didn't um, have to pay to go in or anything like that. We just had a look around. It's lovely. Yeah, really, really pretty. Mm. And then we had a nice ice cream, didn't we? At, at, uh, <laughs> yeah. That was nice, wasn't it? And it's French, of course, so yeah. we were able to use our pigeon French to, <laughs> to get by. Um, and uh, that, that seemed to work okay. Um, but we walked that all around nice. the Citadel. Loads of opportunities for selfies and stuff like that. And mm. views across the bay and just stunning. Really and nice. the ship in the bay as you well. Could, can you, yeah. Just lovely. Really, really nice. Really, really, really pretty place. Um, coming out of the city, kind of the second of the three areas to explore was kind of like the main town shopping area, wasn't it? Um, it's about three streets of sort of bars, cafes and mm. knick-knacky shops. Yeah, and souvenir shops and things souvenir like that. Souvenir shops. Mm. Um, we found it quite expensive though, didn't we? It, it was, was very expensive. Yeah, it's yeah. one thing on this trip actually is is how expensive Europe is for the Brits at the minute. You know, <laughs> must our exchange rate must not be great against the euro at the minute. But um, yeah, it, yeah. Uh, it, you know, very pretty. Um, really pretty, yeah. But very busy as well, wasn't it? Um, a beautiful harbour side area, wasn't it? 
a lovely um there was this nice harbourside area and there was lots of like um little cafes and bars down there yeah um we were we were thinking weren't we? we were thinking oh do we go in one of these but we just thought we'd just keep walking a little bit longer didn't we well you kind of wanted to go to the one of the I beaches did, didn't you yeah yeah i did want to actually have a little paddle in the beach but we did finally get there and it wasn't actually as far as we thought was it the first one 10 minutes yeah it wasn't far at all so we got down there but it's one of these beaches that basically you get like a postage stamp size bit on the beach it was so busy it was rammed wasn't it Absolutely and bad. even the water was rammed so i sort of thought i'd give that a miss of actually having a bit of a paddle on there because it's just so busy yeah i mean yeah yeah it was really really busy and we mm. did actually quite fancy a drink or a bit we actually wanted a beer didn't we actually? we did yeah i mean it was very hot but we still quite fancied a beer we like a beer when we're out about we like to try the local beers yeah, don't um, we mm. there were a load of beach bars on the beach weren't there and they were rammed but it was very clear that they actually only wanted your custom if you were going to eat there. Yeah. Um, so we kind of approached them and said, we just buy a couple of beers? And He pushed us along, didn't he? Yeah, well, we found one that kind of said, yeah, yeah you can go right to the end. If you're going to kind of go out of sight, around the corner, <laughs> round by the bins, you, we can, you can have a beer. <laughs> um, we like, okay, all right, okay. We well. went round there. There was another couple that had actually got a beer, they? They were sat there. And they said, oh, yeah, you can sit, stand near us if you like. So we were waiting there, but they were just completely ignoring us. Yeah, they weren't yeah. that eager to sell us a couple yeah. of beers unfortunately we waited about how long did we wait about 10 minutes about 10 minutes yeah and, and in the end we said look let's just give up they don't want our custom they don't want our custom no. so but just behind the beach area is a sort of a holiday apartment hotel area mm. um and there's a kind of like a strip of shops and bars and restaurants yeah there. and i think there was also there was a parking area for the beach as well isn't yeah there? and mm. and the the sort of strip behind the behind the beach was mm. actually a lot quieter yeah and um, we managed to get a couple of beers in one of the bars there, and they're a lot cheaper as well. a lot cheaper and they wanted to serve us and they were quite happy to serve us <laughs> and quite happy for our customers yeah which was, which was nice and there's that nice little market oh that was lovely that was, we got there just in time because it was closed as we went out <laughs> yeah it was, it was a sunday so we wondered what yeah. would be open and but this yeah. kind of food hall kind of market area, little market and, thing yeah with all things like olive oils and various things local and produce and stuff and, yeah, we, yeah we had a couple of cakes didn't we yeah. we got some nice cakes and um filled up on our drinks didn't we got yeah. some more drinks i've got to say you mm. know it's a very pretty place isn't it and all around you really got the mountains nice. towering above you and the views across the bay yeah it's, it's chocolate box absolutely, isn't it? Gorgeous. absolutely gorgeous yeah um but we it was a tender port and we were worried about you know how how easy it was going to be to get back yeah it was it four o'clock wasn't it it was the last uh yeah but well, they were saying half past four wasn't it, oh, was it half, half four, past four. Was it? yeah yeah but with, when we could yeah. see queues starting to form um, well god they went for miles <laughs> it seemed anyway yeah. <laughs> and you know, they did go on, hmm. on right down the the harbour front area. yeah yeah ships passengers were queuing to get back aboard and we did uh, start off with we thought we'd go and sit in the shady because there was a lovely little shaded area wasn't mm. there and we thought oh we'd go and sit in there and we'll we'll have a drink and we'd bought some snacks so we're eating some snacks and that thought we'd just wait for the the queue to die down but it actually was just getting longer it's wasn't it longer <laughs> and longer and longer i thought <laughs> okay well if you can't beat them join them yeah so um and we decided to join the queue but the queue we were queuing for quite a while well over half an hour mm. in direct sunlight yeah with you know only the refreshments that we had in our bag and luckily we've been to the supermarket in that market area and we bought mm. some drinks and stuff and there was a couple of funny things on the way there was the got the fish guy wasn't there? yeah it was <laughs> funny um so there's a local fish market there and um, the queue was running right past the, all the stores and stuff and yeah the, one of the local fishermen they'd finished up selling for the day hadn't they they'd finished up selling for the day they'd it's obviously hosed down, down yeah. all their you know all the tables and stands and everything and uh he decided that he would then hose all the queuing passengers with i tell you what though it was really welcomed <laughs> he made quite a few friends didn't he? yeah he did <laughs> he actually gave it to somebody else one of the passengers to spray everybody as well didn't he yeah they were just running down the queue squirting people yeah. with the hoses and stuff but we were always lovely grateful for that um, so that was a bit of fun and then yeah. when we got to the the sort of at the end of the queue when we were ready to board the tender again piano staff there they were giving out cold towels weren't they that was nice as well which was a nice put touch. that on you wipe, wipe your face down put it around your neck it was lovely that was nice mm. and, and back... there's water in that as well wasn't there yeah 
back aboard the the tender that on the way back was obviously had better engines because it didn't fill the cabin with, <laughs> with fumes. You got a better yeah, one. <laughs> you got a better one on the way back. Um, and then back aboard, obviously freshen up, shower, and and stuff like that. Um, we, we got what did we get up to last night? We went we had a bit of an easy night last night, didn't we? Yeah, we um, well we pootled around a little bit. I, I wanted to go and see that. Um, there was the um, What's it? The trio, the girl trio band, oh, rocks. Um, rocks. Yeah, yeah, sort of a sort so of a to, sort of trio, house. female trio, sort of like three-way harmonies, mm. kind of rock ballads, wasn't it? Effectively, yeah. uh, and and they were very talented, weren't they? Yeah. I yeah. don't think they're going to be playing download very soon, but <laughs> um, if you if you like singing into your hairbrush, then it's definitely the sort of thing you'd like rather than sort of throwing yourself into a mosh pit it's definitely not that kind of rock it's the hairbrush you don't brush. have mosh pits on, on cruise ships anyway yeah. <laughs> hairbrush hits rock rather than mosh pit rock um but um yeah so that was all right and then we, we yeah. spent some time on the fruit machines didn't we and, yeah um, oh yeah we thought we'd have a little go on that and got blindly robbed by the fruit machines of course. well we've, we've kept we didn't spend all the money we thought we'd have another go tonight or tomorrow yeah, <laughs> yeah. But, hey, look, it was fun, and the wines were good, and it was good night, yeah, wasn't it? It was, yeah. So we're in Civitavecchia today, and we're going to try and get into Rome. We have completely bottled it today because we were going to try and do Rome uh, on our own by sort of taking the train in and all of that. But it looks with there are at least six cruise ships here today, and mm. we decided not to risk it, and we've decided to book the P&O excursion yeah. instead. Costs a bit more. But at least we know we're going to get, get there. there. This is the second time we've tried back. To, yeah, and get back. Hopefully, <laughs> second time we've tried to do Rome this year, and we want to make sure we do it this time around. Yeah, so, um, definitely. Anyway, join us tomorrow and find out how we got on in Rome. Yay! Thanks for watching. <laughs> All right, bye. And don't forget, please like and subscribe.